I pretty recently got out of a, a relationship. I guess you could call it long distance because I barely ever got to see her. Let me tell you guys a story about this. I've known this girl for three years. She's been my friend for a really long time. I'm probably gonna link this to her because, I mean, she, she, she did mean a lot to me. Okay, so she was dating this guy for like six months, on and off. So then I couldn't wait for it to end. And then finally did. And I was like, yes! A good amount of time after that, I, uh, I asked her out. She said no. I was like, crap. So then I, I waited a couple weeks or like a week. I, I don't, I don't quite know. I have horrible memory. So then I do it again. I ask her out. She said no. Both for different reasons. I'm not going to get into that. Then she starts talking to someone. And I ask her out. And she says, no, she's talking to someone. And then she goes, oh, but it's it's been kind of iffy. And I'm like, oh, then why don't you do it? And um, she says, no. So then I start talking to someone else. She's a great girl. I'm never going to leave a relationship talking bad about them unless they really fucked me up. And she didn't. She, I'm fine. So she, this girl is a great girl. And um, I was talking to her for like about a week. And I've to I told her many times, like, oh, I'm going to be serious. I don't expect to end this anytime soon because I can see it's going long term. So then she said, yeah, okay. She's down to try something with me. Oh, oh man, oh man, oh man. So she said she was going to give it a shot with me. And I was excited. I'm like, oh, I like her. She, I'm having fun with her. So we kept talking. We talked for about a week. And all of a sudden I got a text. And it's from the, the girl that I've asked out on many dates. She says, I'm down to go on a date with no, not I'm down. I don't. I just don't remember the exact words. This would have been awesome if I would have remembered. But he says I want to go on a date with you, something like that. So at this point, you could see what is this 15-year-old high schooler? What is he gonna do in this situation? He has one girl that he likes, that that he's talking to, that he's gonna build a relationship with in one hand, and then he has this other girl that he's known for three years, that he's tried, that he's constantly tried to get in the other hand. I weigh my options. I, I talked to her. For the rest of that day, I talked to her. And it's it's a lot of reminiscing about our past. Just talking. I think. I honestly have no idea what that conversation was that night. But it was fun. So then I'm thinking. That night, I go to bed thinking, what am I going to do? So it's lunchtime. I have both of them during the same lunch. I go to the one that I've known for three years. And I, I sit down in front of her. I talk to her. And in the middle of our conversation, I go... Hold up. And she goes, okay. So I stand up and I walk out the door. I go to the girl I'm talking to and I talk to her. I'm straight up with her. I straight up, I, I tell her like, I don't want this to move any forward from friendship. After that, it was like a 15 minute conversation or a 10 minute conversation, something like that. And then lunch ends. I hear the bell ring. And I'm like, oh shit. I don't have the same class as the, as the girl I've known for three years. I don't have the same class as her. But her class is right outside of mine. So I run to my class, I book it. I, I stop her and I turn her around and I, I say, I wanna go on a date with you. And she says, but you're talking to this other girl. And I go, no, not anymore. And she's like, what happened? And I go, I ended it, I wanna be with you. Then she says, um, and then I, I kiss her, man. I go for it. And I mean, that, that kiss was amazing. But I lied. That's not how it went down. Uh, I don't just straight up kiss her. I uh, I get shy as dick because at this point I'm like, oh my god, everything's flushing back to me. I'm freaking out inside. My heart's pumping, and then I'm like, um, do I? Uh, should I? Uh, and then I boom, I just go for it and I do it. That's more how it happened. I didn't, you know, just walk up to her and be like, yo, yo, girl. That's not how it went. So after that, I'm I'm happy as nuts. I go to the next class, just skipping, man. I'm I'm leaping for joy. Seriously. That was amazing. In my opinion, that was incredible. That day was fucking awesome. So after that, for about a week, um, we're just talking and we're flirting and stuff. I ask her out. It, nothing special. I just, I go, do you want to be my girlfriend? And she goes, oh, just, just like this. And I go, yeah. And uh, she's like, um, okay. So then, now listen, this is the reason I didn't do anything special. Because in the next week, it's going to be her birthday. And I've, I've been planning something. The next we rolls along now let's say it's her birthday it comes back it's her birthday now we're already we've been dating for like a week or something so this is what this is what i do the drama teacher i'm really good friends with her because i'm in drama club and i do a lot of shows so i ask her can you unlock the room across of the drama room and then she says yeah sure so i text her when i'm on my when i'm on my way to the room i uh i have my girlfriend we reach the room so i walk in but this is what i did before i preemptively did this i put rose petals lining from the door all the way to the piano i got one single rose and i wrote a page just about how much she means to me i'm, I'm holding her hand i open the door 
and I turn on the light. Then I, I hand her the rose. As she's walking down the rose petals, I hand her the rose. Then I hand her the paper. And then she keeps walking, and I go, and I wrote a song for you. So I started playing it as she's reading the paper. It's definitely one of the most enjoyable things in my life. It was great. It was great seeing her with a smile. That's, that's what I was going for. Either a smile or tearing up, and I'm, oh man, I was so happy. This was about two months ago. So this was towards the end of the school year. So school ends. After that, she has to go on vacation for like a week. She's going to Hawaii. We've talked about it, and I'm like, oh, have fun. That's all that matters. If we can see each other beforehand, that'd be great. But if not, you know, whatever, have fun. I'll still be here. After that, you know, I'll see you when you come back. So she goes to Hawaii, and we, we text during that time. And I mean, it's still great. I'm still having so much fun with her. Of course, there's ups and downs, but there's ups and downs in every relationship. And it's not anything that big that I'm like, oh, oh, this bitch in Hawaii? No, you better bring your ass home. If not, this is going to end. After that, she comes back and she tells me, I'm going on another trip to Europe. I'm like, you're kidding. That week in between, we couldn't see each other. It didn't work out. Because she lives, this is the thing. She lives about 25 minutes to 30 minutes away from me. Timing was not of the essence. Timing has never been a thing with us. She leaves again. A little bit more bummed about this vacation than I was the last one. Because this one was out of nowhere and I was really looking forward to seeing her. But whatever. So she leaves and then she comes back. Once again, we both try to see each other. It doesn't work out. Um, We don't get to we just we didn't get to see each other so fourth of july rolls around we had just had kind of like a, an argument the night before or not really an argument it was just it was eh and i noticed myself like the, when i went to sleep then I, I noticed myself like wow i'm i'm getting really clingy i can feel it all summer while she was gone i just i didn't do anything i was really invested in her and in the morning i get a text i get a good morning text like like normal except normally i would send it to her Except I guess I woke up really late. I don't re I don't really remember. So I get a good morning text and I, I say good morning and she says I think we need to talk and I'm like oh, oh shit that doesn't sound good. So then she she says it's not and I took it the completely wrong way. I thought she said it's not as in it's not bad. So I'm like yee and then she goes it's not good. Why are you saying yee? I'm like oh shit. So that the dreadful conversation that no one wants to get to in a relationship it happened. And then we broke up that week after that was tough because I'm not one to get attached and I like that I'm glad I don't get attached easily, but I did with her. I did I felt comfortable with her and I wanted to so I got attached during that relationship and Getting over it. I so I, I put up a wall of like, oh, I'm, I'm fine. Don't worry about me I'm good a wall, but no deep down. I mean, I was I was hurt. It sucked I really did I started thinking like what am I gonna do? What should I do with my time now? And I found a good idea. It was YouTube again. And I mean, I guess this is why I'm back in YouTube. I guess this is my comeback. 